Now one thing that's good to think about here is how we can use different units of length and area and volume to make things a little bit more sensible. Because if you remember back to my previous uh, example with the floor plan, it didn't make much sense to have something that was 0 0.002 meters squared. So it's good if we convert can convert into other units that are just a little bit uh, easier to think about. Starting off with the units of length though, so it's good to be familiar with the standard units of length. The standard unit is the meter. Now this is the standard unit, um, particularly in science, um, and it's so it's what all our other units are based on. Now the kilometer is um, also very common, so you know we use it for our speeds and um, for larger distances, so one kilometer is a thousand meters. Then we can break it into smaller units, so one centimeter, um, there are a hundred of those in a meter, one millimeter, there are a thousand of those in a meter, and so there are ten millimeters in each centimeter. Now these aren't the only ones, so you know we've got micrometers and nanometers and picometers and all sorts of other um, smaller units. There are bigger units as well, but they don't actually get used that much. Um, the important thing is that there are some rules that you're going to see for how we can convert between them and particularly into area and volume and they're exactly the same. Um, so don't worry about the fact that there are other units and we I'm not mentioning them specifically. Okay, units of area are just the unit of length squared um, and so commonly they are meters squared, centimeters squared, kilometers squared. Now what do I mean by a meter squared? I just mean the area of a square that is one meter on the side times one meter on the height. Um, now when we're converting, and this is the important point that I wanted to get to about the, the plan earlier, um, we've got to think about how many of the smaller unit there is in the bigger unit, or vice versa obviously. So how many meters in a square kilometer? So a square kilometer is the square that is one kilometer on the one side and one kilometer on the other side. So this equals um, one square kilometer. Now, we'll, in order to convert this into meters, what we've got to think about is how many meters there are on each side. So we've got a thousand meters here and a thousand meters there. So if we were to chop this up into little squares, so uh, with um, a thousand across here and a thousand down here and count them all up, or just multiplying it together is easier, what we find is that we've got, this is the same as 1000 meters times 1000 meters, which is the same as 1 million meters squared. So um, we can convert between any units like that and what we just need to do is convert by the conversion factor to the power of two. So there are a thousand meters in a kilometer so there are a thousand to the power of two so a million square meters in a kilometer. So um, you can multiply by the conversion factor squared, so 5 square meters is 5 times 100 meters squared, so 100 is 10,000, so it's going to be 5 times 10,000, which equals 50, I don't know why I put the comma in, um, 50,000 centimeters squared. Now if we jump back to our previous example about the plan, here we go, we had our area was 0 0.002 meters squared. Now that's not a very useful number. So we'll have a look at this one. So A equals 0 0.002 meters squared. Now let's convert this to centimeters squared. So it's going to be 0 0.002 times 100 squared, um, which is 10,000. So 0 0.002 times 10,000. I'm going to move my decimal place up here a bit, and what I'm going to get is I'm going to get 20 centimeters 
squared. So that's much more sensible. So if you talk about 20 centimeters squared, well, you can kind of go, oh, yeah, that makes sense because, you know, it's something that's, say, 4 centimeters by 5 centimeters. It's something that we can actually think about. But when we talk about 0 0.002 meters squared, it's less uh, of an easy number to, to comprehend. Okay, units of volume. Um, so these, you're probably going to see a pattern here, are the area of length cubed, so to the power of 3. So, 1 cubic meter, for instance, is 1 meter uh, deep by 1 meter wide by 1 meter tall. Um, so again, we can have cubic centimeters, cubic millimeters, cubic kilometers. That's a that's a ridiculously big um, volume. You would generally only talk about cubic kilometers if you're talking about you know the amount of water in the ocean or something like that. Converting units of volume. Um, now you've just got to think about the fact that when we're working out volume. It's uh, the length times the width times the height. Now, you might be starting to see the pattern here, a little bit like the volume of similar figures um, that we've got. Um, one meter is going to be 100 centimeters here. Um, so it's 100 centimeters and 100 centimeters and 100 centimeters. So when we're working out the volume, so one meter cubed, which is just one by one by one, is the same as a hundred times a hundred times a hundred centimeters cubed. So it is in fact a million centimeters cubed. Um, so what we're seeing here because our, our conversion factor between the meters to the centimeters is 100, we're seeing that conversion factor cubed. So generally, when relating units of volume, you multiply by the conversion factor cubed. So say 5 cubic kilometers in cubic meters is 5 um, times 1,000, because of those 1,000 meters in a kilometer, to the power of 3. So that is 5 billion... cubic meters. That's why I was saying before, it's a ridiculously large volume. Now, uh, just the last thing I want to mention is that um, uh, some of these units we've just been talking about there are kind of weird. We don't use them very much. Um, we tend to use some other units for area and volume much more commonly, and so it's good to just quickly understand how they relate. Now, um, the common unit of volume is the litre. Now, what one litre is, it's one decimeter cubed. Now, deci means one-tenth. So, what that means if we want to convert litres into cubic metres, for instance, if we uh, think about a cubic metre, so I'm going to quickly whip up a badly drawn cube. Now, there are ten decimeters in each metre. So, there would be ten there, 10 there, and um, 10, where's the other one gone? 10 there. So, when we're converting these, it's very much the same as what we've done before. So, 1 cubic meter is going to be 10 times 10 times 10 decimeters cubed, which is 1,000 decimeters cubed, or a thousand liters. So um, whenever people are talking about cubic meters, um, it's good to remember that that is the same as a thousand liters. Um, or if you want to go back to our ridiculous example previously about five cubic kilometers, which is five billion cubic meters, it would be five trillion liters. Um, and if you think about how crazily big the ocean is, that's really nothing. Um, one mil is one centimeter cubed. So um, you could see um, from this previous example that in one cubic meter we have a million cubic centimeters. So there are a million mils in one um, 
one cubic meter. Now you probably remember as well that there's a um, thousand mil in one liter because a mil is a milliliter. Um, so you are probably starting to see some of the patterns here as well. One cubic meter is a thousand liters, is and, and one liter is a thousand mils. Um, for area, the can what we we tend to um, use more often than square kilometers, although square kilometers are pretty common, is the hectare, and the hectare is a hundred meters times a hundred meters. So um, that square gives us a total of 10,000 square meters. And if you want to think about this a little bit further, you could think about how many hectares in a square kilometer. So one kilometer squared. So we've got, um, well, there's 10 times 100 meters in one kilometer. And there's 10 times 100 meters in, so the, if we're thinking about this as being the base times the height, there'd be, again, the conversion factor squared. So um, so one kilometer, square kilometer, sorry, is 100 hectares. All right, hopefully that didn't get too confusing at the end, um, but you can see that we can relate the area and volume of uh, similar figures and we can um, also convert between those two and you should be right to get on with the exercises for part D.